start with contracting sprites. Chapter 46, End of Semester Translator, Atlas Studios Editor, Atlas Studios Squawk Squawk Bang Upon seeing Little Fire Crow fall right down, Suha wrote down a note in his little notebook. Sprite commandeering needs to be practiced more and form a habit. Otherwise, it's not an assistance but a disservice. After using, Sprite commandeering, accelerate, twice, Suhao didn't feel anything himself. He glanced at the interface his soul power had dropped by about two points. According to old Chen's description, so long as I maintain adequate sleep, the soul power consumed can be restored within a day. But consuming too much soul power would cause a sharp decline in mental state and even fainting. At school yesterday, Su Hao had already been able to use Sprite Commandeering. At that time, Old Chen had told him not to continue using Sprite Commandeering when he felt tired. Su Hao felt nothing now. I can try summoning. He spread his fingers and shouted in a low voice. Tap. Tap. Two pointers lit up, so he followed the soul contract's instinct and chose to summon Silkworm Baby. After an instant, he felt a strand of soul power being drawn out. A dumbstruck silkworm baby appeared at the position in front of him, as high as his arm. It dropped rapidly. In midair, it flipped its body to maintain balance and landed stably. Gurgle. It saw the stupid crow hit the tree trunk and ran over to supervise it. Then it used the gaze of a senior. Stare. Under the gaze, little fire crow shakily flew up again looking pitiful and helpless. It flapped its wings and continued to fly among the densely foliaged woods. It turned up and down, passing among the branches. Suddenly, a force shrouded it. Little fire crow seemed to have a booster installed on it, and branches were quickly enlarged in its eyes. It dodged and dodged again, but still got tripped by a branch and got sent flipping outward. Squawk, squawk, squawk. Its sound faded away. While looking at Little Fire Crow's disappearing figure among the trees, Su Hao fell into deep thought. Maybe, we should still start practicing in simple environments. Even if sprites are thick skinned, they have to fall in the right places. As Su Hao pondered over it, he felt a spell of dizziness. His legs felt weak, and he had to squat down. I consumed too much soul power. He had it more convenient than others. On the interface, he saw that only less than three points of soul power were left. Before I used Sprite Commandeering, Accelerate, there were 3.6 points of soul power left. I was only a bit tired, but it wasn't obvious. But after consuming a little more, the impact on my state got a little bigger. One third is probably a critical threshold. When soul power is less than one third, one state would be very obviously affected. To use Sprite Commandeering would not be advisable then, as he himself might fall before the enemy did. When Silkworm Baby saw Su Hao squatting on the ground and his hand supporting his forehead, it ran over nervously. Gurgle, gurgle. Don't die. Autumn passed, and winter came. In a blink of an eye, it was the end of the semester. As a Sprite Stream student, Su Hao also had to undergo the regular final examination for the semester, just like his peers in arts and science streams. The exams he had to take were subjects unique to the Sprite stream, such as, Sprite history, Sprite cultivation, and, Sprite analysis. There were also exams for ordinary compulsory subjects like Chinese, mathematics, and moral education. This year, the examination date was even earlier to leave sufficient time for the five school joint combat practice. In the classroom of class two. In his thick winter school uniform, Su Hao held a pen and kept writing answers on the exam paper. The hot air breathed out from his mouth turned into white mist, dissipating in the air. Finally. Slap. He finished the last question. The bell rang. Su so Hao turned in the fully filled moral education exam paper. It was too hard. The air he breathed out turned into white mist again. 
Su Hao finished answering the exam questions for Sprite Stream with great ease. The difficulty level of the final exam was far below the written exam for Sprite Cultivators. Unfortunately, he still had to take exams for ordinary academic subjects. This was hugely difficult for star students who, especially since he hadn't spent much time revising. It's all right. I don't know if it's my illusion, but it feels like my memory and thinking abilities seem to have both improved a little. Perhaps it was due to the increase in soul power. After finishing the exam paper for the last subject, Su Hao walked out of the classroom. A light yellow figure leaped toward him, which then quickly slowed down when approaching him. Gurgle. Su Hao caught Silkworm Baby. Then he saw a little fire crow drop onto the top of his head, flopping. Gurgle. Silkworm Baby yelled a little. Squawk, little fire crow replied weakly. It flew up again and fell down on Su Hao's shoulder. Silkworm Baby crawled onto the top of his head, satisfied. Su Hao was rendered speechless. Did you ask for my opinion? After the final exams, they had a rare few days of holidays. When Su Hao arrived at the classroom the following Monday, they received the result slips. As he expected, he only got half a mark or one mark deducted for the several subjects of Sprite Stream. It must be the teacher reminding him not to be arrogant. 117 for Chinese, 138 for mathematics, all pretty good. After all, sprite cultivation and real combat had the highest weightage. Su Hao's requirement for himself on ordinary academic subjects was to simply not be a burden. Then, Lu Ren approached, gave it a glance, and yelled, Wow, old Su. You are sure to get into a prestigious university already. He was too clear about Su Hao's abilities. Between the two contracted sprites, Little Fire Crow was only cultivated for a short period of time, so it was hard to say, but Silkworm Baby actually could already beat Coach Xiang's Little Wind Horse in November. Presently, Silkworm God was probably close to even entry level. But, my master tortoise's spiritual force is also already more than 110, it can reach its maximum during this winter holiday. Thinking this way, it seems that my progress is pretty fast too, right? Lu Ren knew who was responsible for this. As compared to the previous sprite cultivator's plan, Su Hao's was too awesome. Otherwise, it would be very difficult for little charcoal tortoise's spiritual force to even reach 100 points. Hey, Su Hao, what do you think my master tortoise's spiritual force upper limit should be? Probably around 140. With your cultivation progress now, in about 40 days, you can cultivate little charcoal tortoise to its limit before entry level. Su Hao gave Lu Ren's result slip a glance and said, If you get the grades for these subjects up, it is not impossible for you to give prestigious universities a try. When Lu Ren heard that, his eyes brightened, then a sad expression appeared on his face. We are still good brothers if you don't mention grades. He changed the subject and asked, Your silkworm spiritual force has reached the maximum, right? Pretty much. Then my master tortoise isn't that far behind your silkworm god as well, hey? Su Hao smiled and said nothing. Silkworm baby had indeed approached its maximum state. Some sprites' maximum states were at 100 points of spiritual force, and some others were at 130, or 150. However, Silkworm Baby's spiritual force had already reached 176. It had also achieved small compressions at the stages of 120 and 150 points of spiritual force. Su so Hao had also unlocked speed enhancement cultivation and physique enhancement cultivation. Even Su Hao himself couldn't say for sure how strong Silkworm Baby exactly was right now. He only knew that several of the huge rocks at the back of Lake East Hill had been destroyed, so he dared not continue staying there anymore. Chapter 47, The Look of a Heavenly King Getting the result slip for the final exam at the end of the semester wasn't the end for Sprite Stream students. More intense preparations were still ongoing. During the recent period, the school had no compulsory training classes, 
and many Sprite Stream students went to the battle halls. Every day, about a dozen or even dozens of battles could be seen. As compared to the public battle area of Sprite Square, the battle hall of the square had a better environment. There were a total of four battlefields inside, sufficient to meet the demands of Sprite Stream students. And City First High's Battle Hall was also the grandest building inside the First High campus. At this moment, on one of the battlefields, Master Tortoise, Spray Flames. On the field, Lu Ren ordered with a high voice. Little Charcoal Tortoise sprayed out fan-shaped flames with an angle of 30 degrees upward. Countless flames dropped down, surrounding the metal element sprite on the opposite side of the field, a golden pangolin. This kind of sprite looked very much like a pangolin. Its whole body was dark golden, its scales reflected the sunlight. The sprite trainer of the golden pangolin was the strongest in class 3. He had once been defeated by Lu Ren in the battle for the four strongest in first high but only by a slight margin. Golden Pangolin was at a disadvantage against the little charcoal tortoise due to their elements. Roll, he shouted. Upon receiving the order, Golden Pangolin bent its body and rolled forward, its speed getting faster and faster. It dodged most of the flames. The occasional sparks falling on it bounced off its rapidly turning body. The boy from class 3 looked full of confidence. I've already figured out the way to break this move of yours, bump up, attack with claws. A figure that looked like a metal wheel approached little charcoal tortoise immediately. Nevertheless, Lu Ren's face didn't change the slightest. He was heard saying, fireball. Many huge fireballs were spewed out of the little charcoal tortoise's mouth, and hot flames struck golden pangolin which was approaching directly. The boy from class 3 had no time to give orders, nor to use sprite commandeering. With a rumble, there was a burst of flames. A charcoal back figure flew out of it, struggled for a few times, and couldn't move anymore. Golden Pangolin. He hurriedly ran forward, then looked at Lu Ren and little charcoal tortoise. How did you, improve so much? Guess. Lu Ren revealed an annoying smile. On the bleachers. Old Gu held a thermal bottle and took a sip of his herbal water. He couldn't help but praise, Lu Ren is improving fast. He can probably have a pretty good performance during the combat practice this time as well. I heard that Su Hao designed the cultivation plan of Little Charcoal Tortoise. It's awesome, amazing. Achu. Who's praising me now? In a corner of the battle hall, Su Hao held Silkworm Baby in his left hand and Little Fire Crow in his right. He quietly watched his classmates' performance and had no plans to go into the field. After all, the life of the strong was so lonely and dull. Old Su, I completely trampled that guy from class 3. Lu Ren's loud voice came from afar. Soon, he was seen walking out of the passage. Su Hao's mouth twitched. Wasn't that a given? The cultivation level of your little charcoal tortoise has far surpassed his golden pangolin, it'd be shameful if it lost. So, I want to challenge you. Challenge me? Big face Lu, big face Lu, you've inflated. Gurgle. Silkworm baby very much agreed. After waiting for about a dozen minutes for little charcoal tortoise to recover, the two found a battlefield. Lu Ren's master tortoise was already on the field. Su Hao thought about it and asked, which of you are going? Gurgle. Silkworm baby shook its head. Then, little fire crow, it's you. Squawk. Little fire crow flew out very excitedly. Lu Ren froze a little upon seeing it. Why is it little fire crow? If you underestimate little fire crow, you may lose very badly. Lu Ren's mouth twitched. It's only been two months, how can Little Fire Crow's cultivation level possibly surpass my master tortoise? It is lower in cultivation level indeed, but, Su Hao smiled. Sprite battles aren't solely about the strength of spiritual force, the usage of unique skills is also very critical. Presently, Little Fire Crow's spiritual force exceeded 100, but it was still a bit far behind Little Charcoal Tortoise. 
however, this was the only aspect it was behind on. Under Silkworm Baby's supervision, Little Fire Crow had been undergoing extremely harsh training daily. It had wanted to resist but couldn't beat Silkworm Baby. Now that it had an opportunity to battle against other sprites, Little Fire Crow couldn't help being excited. Su Hao felt that he should give Little Fire Crow a chance to showcase itself, so he said, just fight in your regular ways. On the opposite side. Lu Ren's look was focused. Master Tortoise, we can't lose this battle. If Su Hao had sent Silkworm Baby for the battle, he wouldn't have expected to win. But Little Fire Crow had only been contracted for two months, and its cultivation level was lower than his Master Tortoise. In Su Hao's words, it'd be shameful if he lost. Spray Flames He used the same move as before, but this time, the flames sprayed by Little Charcoal Tortoise were even higher. The whole field looked like there was a rain of fire, raining upward. Even though Little Fire Crow was also fire element, it would still suffer significant damage in the rain of fire. However, Little Fire Crow didn't dodge in the face of countless fire sparks coming its way at all. Instead, it flipped its wings, and countless black feathers dropped like flying needles. It was feather needles. Upon contact with the sparks, the feathers started burning brightly, yet they were actually not burned up, but became flaming feathers, pushing aside the splashing flames. Then, they closed in toward Little Charcoal Tortoise with no reduction in momentum. What? Little Charcoal Tortoise had already retreated into its shell instinctively. Flaming feathers fell onto the tortoise shell, producing crisp, clanging sounds. Very good, this is it, after the flaming feathers pass. Lu Ren gave orders, but before he finished speaking, all the flaming feathers had already changed their directions. They no longer fell with an inclined angle but spun with a curvature. Flaming feathers hit on one corner of the tortoise shell, making it stand upright its weak spot was exposed in the air. The flaming feathers took the opportunity to fall and hit right on the spot. It forced little charcoal tortoise to stretch its body out again and regain balance against the flaming feathers attack. Little fire crow had already approached. Flames started burning on its claws, which became a huge, flaming claw. It hit right on the face. Bang! Little Charcoal Tortoise lost its fighting ability. The student who passed by announced the result, giving Lu Ren a sympathetic look at the same time. Lu Ren hadn't yet recovered from being dumbstruck. He lost just like this. He felt a bit unwilling to accept it. Little Charcoal Tortoise had yet to showcase anything. Still, he carefully thought about it and realized that he had lost before Su Hao had even made commands himself. He had no grievance. No wonder Su Hao let Little Fire Crow on the field so confidently. Such difference. Lu Ren was a bit agitated. On the bleachers. That was. Old Gu was shocked. He actually turned feather needles into flaming needles, and it had such control abilities. Not only that. Coach Xiong, who just walked over, said sternly, This little fire crow is very strong, and its speed is outstanding. Furthermore, it has a mature tactical system. And all these were achieved within a short period of two months. He has done the impossible time and time again. I think Su Hao, has the look of a heavenly king. Chapter 48, Su Hao's Trump Card Look of a Heavenly King would this praise be too high? There were many stages after becoming an official sprite trainer elementary, mid, upper, elite, master and then heavenly king level. Sprite trainers at the level of heavenly king were already strategic powerhouses, high level officials of a province. Coach Xiong smiled. I only think Su Hao has such possibility. What surprised me the most about him was him coming from an ordinary family background but achieving results that many offspring of sprite trainer families can't achieve. But, right now his sprite is only pre-entry level, there aren't many resources that can be put in, so Su Hao can lead in an city first high, and be not too different from even the top students of top high schools. But once it reaches entry level, the offspring of some sprite trainer families, or heirs of sex, 
can get a large number of resources for their sprites. At that time, it would be hard for Su Hao to keep his leading position. Furthermore, sprite trainer families and sects with real legacies have their own unique skills and tactical systems figured out by many sprite trainer seniors over the past decades. Whether or not Su Hao can reach the Heavenly King level in the future is also dependent on luck, apart from his own hard work. Yes, luck. Upon hearing Coach Xiang say so, Old Chen and the other few teachers also felt the same. The higher level a sprite reached, the greater the number of resources needed to cultivate it. Old Chen also used to be a top student during high school and got into a good sprite university. During the first year of university, her sprite had broken through into entry level, but so many years had passed, and it had yet to get to elite level. Su Hao may have the chance of reaching Heavenly King, but, that's just a really slight chance. In any case, with the students Su Hao, Li Songting, Gu Linjao, and Lu Ren this cohort, at least, Old Gu thought about it and said, we can achieve decent results during the five school joint combat practice. Especially Su Hao, his little fire crow alone is at the level of a good student at Yunhua University affiliated high school. His silkworm baby has probably reached its maximum spiritual force. It's a pity, if his silkworm baby could break through into entry level, it would have a chance at even the top three. It's already pretty good, considering the past cohorts. None of the past cohorts had combat practice in the wild. But they had sprite battle exchanges between schools. The good students from in City First High who took part in the exchanges were completely insignificant characters who merely showed their faces on stage. In the end, the stage was for Yunhua University affiliated high school and Yunhua First High School. This year, our in City First High can at least surprise seeing Yuan High School and Ping Chang First High hard. Old Gu thought about it and couldn't conceal the smile on his face. Su so Hao didn't stay for too long at school. At first, he went to the battle hall to check the average ability of his batchmates at the moment. Then, he realized he was thinking too much none could properly fight at an city first high. Nevertheless, Yunhua University affiliated high school and Yunhua first high were far better, and he couldn't figure out the situation about those two schools by watching his batchmates fight each other. He may as well not watch and spend his limited time on unlimited training for sprites. Su so Hao came to Sprite Square, went around the public battle space, and kept walking in until he arrived at a large hall. Hello, please open a primary level training room for me. The staff member, who was using her phone, looked up, saw Su so Hao's young face, and instinctively said, Sorry, the training rooms here require official, official. Ah. He saw the Sprite Cultivator certificate Su so Hao handed over. Out of career instinct, she took it immediately and scanned it at the machine. Beep. Primary level sprite cultivator certificate. It's actually real. Hello, your training room is number 4, and you have 30 hours of free usage remaining this month. Su Hao took his card back and walked toward the training room without looking back, carrying a silkworm baby on his head. A little fire crow flew squawking closely behind. After Su Hao's figure disappeared around the corner, the young staff member finally withdrew her glance and muttered, So handsome. The primary level training room was a big room of more than 100 square meters. The whole room was made with special materials, and even entry level sprites could hardly damage it. There was also plenty of training equipment in the training room that could be used. And it was for free. This wasn't the first time Su Hao was here. He took out several targets with ease. After the big rocks at the backside of the hill, the training room's targets became Su Hao's first choice target, since they endured hitting well. It was just that the free hours were limited. Little Fire Crow, continue practicing flaming claws and wing attacks. Silkworm Baby, practice fancy energy ball first. Su Hao focused his gaze on the interface. At first, the main unique skills he prepared for Little Fire Crow were Feather Needles, Flaming Needles, and Fire Ball. The aim was to cultivate Little Fire Crow into a long-distance artillery battery. 
Flaming Claws was only a side skill to give Little Fire Crow some resisting ability when it was approached. But he didn't expect. Little Fire Crow's claws would be ablaze with flames, which turned into a flaming claw even larger than its body. It was like a little kid waving a big hammer, but it flashed left and right around the target and tore it down with its claws. Unique skill, Flaming Claw, improved. Improvement Direction Increase the stability of Flaming Claw and increase the time the unique skill is sustained. How did Little Fire Crow become a master of close quarter combat? It must be the Silkworm Baby's fault. Although Little Fire Crow wasn't a high endurance sprite, it had the life saving unique skill of Feather Substitute and matched with other skills. Thus, it seemed like a warrior good at both attacking and dodging. It was not impossible to develop it in that direction. As such, so how let it be? He designed two more sets of tactics for Little Fire Crow. One was an ordinary set, with long distance attacks, mainly feather needles and fire balls. The other was an explosive set, with the main skill being Flaming Claw, supplemented by wing attacks, and feather substitute for close quarter fights. Silkworm Baby's fighting methods are more steady, complete with both attack and defense. He saw it condense an energy ball the size of a football, but didn't throw it out immediately, and instead produced a second and a third. The energy balls were very steady. Silkworm Baby held them on top of its head like it was doing acrobatics, then shifted one to the tail and lashed it out forcefully. The energy ball flew out in a flash, striking a target right in the middle, and exploded. Silkworm Baby stood upright again, its short legs on the left and right sides, each guiding one energy ball. The two energy balls were lashed out together, spun at high speed, moved over a semicircle on both the left and right sides, and bumped onto the center of the target, exploding. The bombarded target buzzed and shook. Spinning energy balls was not an improved unique skill, but a method of using spiritual force, like little fire crows spinning feathers, just like spinning table tennis balls. It was just that there was an extremely high requirement for the control of energy in order to manipulate the unstable energy balls in fancy manners. Upon seeing its performance, Su Hao felt pretty satisfied with Silkworm Baby. Although it idled around, read novels, watched TV dramas, played games, and did some mysterious things he didn't know, it could always finish the tasks he gave on time. No, ahead of time. Su Hao had nothing to say. Among the unique skills mastered by Silkworm Baby, either Fancy Energy Ball, Improved Charging, or the advanced unique skill of Roaring, Stunning, could be used as a battle-changing skill. Besides, there was still. Su Hao focused his gaze on the interface. There was still another improvement that could make a supplementary skill a lethal unique skill. Unique skill, String Shot, Improved. Direction of Improvement, Sharpness. Chapter 49, Setting Off. 4th of January, after New Year's Day. In the lecture hall of the classroom building, students of the four classes all sat quietly in their seats. On the podium, Old Gu, with his shiny scalp, was talking about joint combat practice. To respond to the latest call from the Union and to improve the combat level of the new generation of sprite trainers, this year's college entrance examination will reflect the reform's new direction. Therefore, we, together with Yunhua University Affiliated High School and Yunhua First High, have organized a simulation exercise. This is so that you will not be caught off guard during the college entrance examination. The location will be in a primordial forest area in our province and will be scouted beforehand by the school's members. The exercise will be held in one week's time and you need to prepare your own clothes and daily necessities. I emphasize that although it is only just a simulation of actual combat and not life-threatening, hardship and injuries are nevertheless inevitable. Old Goo's eyes swept around. Now, I am asking if there is anyone who does not wish to participate? This joint examination will not count toward the final grade. The lecture hall was silent. There wasn't anyone who thought of withdrawing. While this joint examination could be avoided, one could not avoid the college entrance examination. 
every student in the Sprite stream wanted to enter Sprite universities. With so much money and effort invested, how could they withdraw from such an insignificant hardship? Even if there were one or two fearful people in the lecture hall who wanted to withdraw, they had no choice but to keep quiet under this atmosphere. Old Gu didn't really want to persuade them to withdraw. He nodded in satisfaction when he saw that no one withdrew. The joint examination is not easy, but correspondingly, the rewards are far better. He paused. For first place, the reward is a heart of attributes. On top of that, one million resource credits. For second and third place, the reward is a heart of secondary attributes and 800,000 resource credits. From fourth to tenth place, the reward is 10 units of elemental essences and 500,000 resource credits. From eleventh to hundredth place, there are also 100,000 resource credits as reward. From time to time, when old Gu was speaking, he looked at Su Hao, who was sitting in the back row. Su Hao was the only one from first high who could make it to the top ten. There was no need for old Gu to emphasize that. When Su Hao heard the rewards, his eyes beamed. He knew what the heart of attributes was an extremely precious spiritual item. Su Hao did not know where these spiritual items came from, but they were probably not products from Sea Blue Star. He only cared that the heart of attributes could greatly increase a sprite's potential. It was an item that might come to you by luck and not by searching for it. Even for the heart of secondary attributes, some people would offer millions of dollars to buy them, and there would not be any sellers. This was what he saw on the Union Forum some time ago. The elemental essences were much inferior. They were only required during the sprite's evolution and could be purchased as long as one had money. Su Hao's mind was filled with images of heart of attributes. Even the million level resource rewards were ignored. In the lecture hall, the students were all excited. Even if many of them understood that their chances were slim, but what if? The top 100 had a reward of 100,000 resource credits. Only Lu Ren chuckled and was totally uninterested. Stingy. The next day, Father Su had already driven Su Hao to the school gate before it was eight. Su Hao alighted with a suitcase. He turned around and said, Go back. Don't worry. When I went to Yunhua City to take the Sprite Cultivator qualification exam, weren't you fine with that? That's different. Mother Su said, You have to survive in the wild, how can I not worry? It's not surviving in the wild. It's just a joint combat practice in the wild. Su Hao leaked a word last night, and the situation had become like this. If it weren't for school regulations, which prevented parents from accompanying their kids, Su Hao was very sure that his parents would have tagged along. Like the Su family, many parents were sending their children off at the school gate. Their cars had caused a bit of congestion. Near the gate, there were also eight buses. There were groups of students around, as well as teachers of the Sprite stream such as Old Gu, Old Chen, and some school leaders that he did not recognize. There was also someone that he recognized, Pan Jing Shan, from the Association of Sprite Trainers. Su Hao was thinking whether to say hello when he saw Pan Jing Shan beckoning to him. Uncle Pan. Pan Jing Shan smiled. I heard Boss Yang say that you are getting more and more unpredictable. Next to Pan Jing Shan, there was a middle-aged man with an extraordinary aura. He turned his head and said, You are the Su Hao mentioned by Tian Bia. Su Hao was stunned before realizing that Tian Bia was probably the name of Coach Xiang. His name was indeed, imposing. He repeatedly nodded as a form of respect. Pan Jing Shan made an introduction. This is the deputy president of An City's Association of Sprite Trainers, Luo Jinghong. He is an elite sprite trainer like Boss Yang. Deputy President Luo, Big Boss Yang, and I will attend this joint examination. Uncle Pan's words made Su Hao a little confused. How was the joint examination connected to the Association of Sprite Trainers? The Deputy President was also a high-ranking figure in an city. He did not think too much over this. After a couple of words, Su Hao left. It was time to set off. 
more than 100 students and sprites poured into the eight buses. After Su Hao put his luggage away, he chose a seat at random and sat down with Silkworm Baby and Little Fire Crow by his side. There were also little stone elephants, vine snakes, little ground wolves, and other larger sprites inside the bus. However, the bus was not crowded. There were areas reserved for sprites. Soon, the buses started their engines and slowly left in city first high. There was an older sprite trainer, who was also a director of the association of sprite trainers on the bus. Old Chen was not on the same bus as Su Hao but on another. Next to the older sprite trainer was a six-winged flying silkworm. It was about the same size as Silkworm Baby, but the green pattern on its back was darker in color and more complex. Also, it had three pairs of wings, which were as thin as cicada wings. It was flying and patrolling around, calming down the few sprites that were suffering from anxiety from their first ever bus trip. The older sprite trainer clapped his hands, attracting everyone's attention. He said, Our destination is the battle preparation village near the primordial forest area. The trip there will take about four or five hours. When you get there, you will rest in the battle preparation village for a day. Tomorrow, the rules will be officially announced, and you will enter the primitive forest area to begin your joint examination. First, let me talk about the general situation of the primordial forest area. The primordial forest area is an area covering more than 200 square kilometers, in which contains a very large number of wild sprites. He paused, and as expected, he saw eyes filled with surprise and disbelief. He snorted. The sprites in the primordial area are different from those you saw in the sprite care house. These are mostly adult sprites, and they are aggressive. Forget about contracting them. Under the threat from these sprites, the first thing you have to do is to rely on your sprites to survive. The convoy traveled quickly on the highway. Except for a short break in a service area, they did not stop at all. Before noon, the buses got off the highway and entered a quieter road. Gradually, they were unable to see any vehicles on the road, only dense forests on both sides as they passed through one tunnel after another. Halfway, they passed through a place that looked like a checkpoint. Su Hao saw the soldiers with rifles and sprite trainers with sprites. The convoy continued moving. After an unknown amount of time had passed, Su Hao, who was half asleep, heard something. Get ready to alight. We have arrived at the battle preparation village. Chapter 50, Outstanding Sprite Stream Students The buses stopped moving, and Su Hao alighted in a daze. He slapped his cheeks, took in a breath of fresh air, and was finally awake. This is the battle preparation village. The name of the village sounded weird. From what Su Hao could see, the place looked like a tourist village. Surrounded by mountains and rivers, there was greenery everywhere. It was said that there were special battle venues, training halls, cafeterias, and hotels in the village. Not to mention sightseeing spots. After arriving at their destination, Su Hao and the others did not check in into the hotel first, but headed toward the cafeteria to eat. Everyone was hungry as they had set off at 8 o'clock in the morning and had been on the bus for nearly five hours. Fortunately, be it accommodation or meals, all these had already been arranged by the schools, so they don't have to worry about anything. When he arrived at the hotel room, Su Hao put down the suitcase and laid on his bed. On the bed beside him, was Lu Ren. Su Hao wanted to give a bad review. All along, the students each had a room to themselves during the Sprite Cultivator assessment. Why was this different now? As he laid down, Silkworm Baby, which had been sitting on top of his head, rolled to the front of the bed and slammed against the wall. It wriggled a little. When it saw the suitcase beside the bed, it got up and jumped onto it. It used its head to push but was unable to open the numeric lock. When using its short legs to press, its vision was unfortunately blocked. Neither could it attempt to destroy it through violent means or else that devil Su Hao would definitely confiscate its pocket money. It thought for a while and spat out a white silk thread that was a palm's length. The thread became hardened like a skinny pencil, 
which it held in its mouth to move the dials of the numeric lock. Within two clicks, the lock was opened. Silkworm Baby called out to Little Fire Crow, which flew over quickly. It grabbed the zipper with its claws and flew around the suitcase, unzipping it. It then grabbed the upper half of the suitcase again with its claws and opened the whole suitcase completely. Gurgle. Silkworm Baby carefully dragged out the laptop. While biting onto it with its mouth, it shot a silk thread from its front legs onto the ceiling. The spiritual force-powered silk thread contracted, lifting it up together with the laptop. Silkworm Baby then shot a silk thread onto the wall next to the table. It used the two silk threads to pull and drag the laptop, carefully placing it on the table. Gurgle. Its mission was successfully completed. Silkworm Baby and Little Fire Crow hid behind the laptop. They appeared a little sinister when illuminated by the light of the machine. Not far away, a little charcoal tortoise was shaking its head. It felt like a new world had been opened. Su Hao had a good nap. When he woke up, it was already three or four in the afternoon. It couldn't be helped, it was already past two when lunch was over. It was definitely not because he was in a deep slumber. As the joint examination was approaching, Su Hao did not arrange any training tasks for the two little fellows today. Instead, he allowed them to have some fun so that they could fight harder tomorrow. Su Hao pondered over the intel he had collected. Primordial forest area, wild sprites, the other students. Not surprisingly, this is the resist and survive model. Strategy was very important. It was impossible to charge in and confront everything head-on unless one sprite could demolish the entire battlefield. As a sprite trainer that strategized and planned before taking action, Su Hao spent quite some time thinking. Let's just be reckless. He leisurely made himself a cup of tea and began to enjoy the remaining half of the day. Bang! The door of the room opened, and Lu Ren's big round face peered in. Su Hao, look what I've gotten. Su Hao glanced, raised his teacup, and continued sipping. He refused to say anything. After holding it for ten seconds, Chatterbox Lu couldn't hold it anymore. Did you see this? This piece of paper in my hand contains intel on some of the most dangerous trainers in our generation. Su so Hao showed some interest. Where did you get this intel? By talking to students from various schools, do you expect them to keep it a secret? Were those students unethical? Su so Hao did not think so. Lu Ren must have used his money to bribe them, or else he wouldn't have been able to get some much information within an hour. He looked over. The handwriting on the paper was a little messy. Nevertheless, he was able to comprehend it. The paper contained a lot of information. Look at this, Liang Yuchen. He was a genius originally from an city but was pried away to Yunhua University affiliated high school. His sprites are the little stone elephant and the glowing firefly. Both sprites' spiritual force is over 100. The stronger one, the glowing firefly, may have more than a 120. It is a powerful enemy. Lu Ren had a solemn expression. After he was done talking, he looked at Su Hao and then at himself, saying dejectedly, Well, at least, he's a powerful enemy for me. There's another, Zhang Zhet. He is the number one expert of seeing you in high school and a very wealthy second generation heir. His sprite is a red horn bull. Su Hao saw that for Zhang Zhet, Lu Ren had collected a lot of information. Clearly, he was treating him as a strong rival. It might be that Zhang Zhe's family was probably more wealthy than Richie Lu. The red horn bull was a fire element sprite, similar to little charcoal tortoise. Moreover, its cultivation level was higher. No wonder Lu Ren was treating him as a strong rival. I'll show you even more powerful trainers. Lu Ren flipped over the paper. There were two names written there. Bing Ning, Lin Ming Zheng. Old Su, I heard that these two are really sick, they are giants. For instance, Bing Ning is the heir of the country's number one sect. Although she is not the only heir, you should understand what sex are. Of course, Su Hao had heard this before. 
ASECT was not simply about improving or creating one or two unique skills. It needed to have a system, and its skills must have a unique style in combat, which could be passed down to the next generation. These were what made sects different. Basically, these were created by heavenly kings or perfected by generations of sprite masters. One could think of them as the equivalent of martial art sects during ancient times. But there were not so many rules in modern times. The heirs of the sect would still need to attend high school and college. The sects would also have to work with the union and local associations, and not keep to themselves. Lu Ren added, her sect belongs to the ice element type, and Bing Ning's main force is an ice element white seal sprite. This sprite is a symbol of someone with extraordinary luck. He was envious. How strong is Bing Ning's white seal? Not even her classmates know. However, she has another sprite, a water element little seashell. That alone is already one of the strongest sprites in Yunhua first high. From her sprite configuration, it appears that she is not satisfied with only managing a sect, but wants to experiment and innovate. She is an ambitious woman. Old Su. Lu Ren wanted to continue but stopped and hesitated. After thinking about it, he said, our joint examination is about surviving. If you run into her, it's better to stay away. He was simply being honest here. Although Lu Ren's intel on Bing Ning was very simple and crude, Su Hao already was feeling the pressure after hearing about her two sprites. The development of Little Fire Crow was relatively slower compared to many top sprites. Would Silkworm Baby be able to manage alone? Su Hao was not sure. He asked, what about that Lin Ming Zheng? What is his background? <laughs>